we're going to get this started. I now call the bit to order. And I'm opening the floor to anyone who wants to speak first. Who wants to go? Okay, Ashley. It's like a confusing topic, but I truthfully and most artists think that they should not monitor sex. And um, I think because truthfully, um, sex was sex like most, I think someone not necessarily made it up, but I think sex was created for not only reproduction, but for um, what some of you would say fun. For pleasure, so I think the fact that um, what he was, I guess, what he was putting across is that should they monitor it, that it's only used for reproduction? No, I don't think that because I think that you should still be able to um, use sex for um, fun and not just having to for reproduction and for making babies. to just have sex whenever they want because, I don't know, sex is fun. Um, I'm not going to comment on that one. But that's not necessarily the case. Think about how many people have sex for fun but then end up pregnant. I know a lot of girls, maybe not at this point, but I know that Centennial has a daycare and Corona has a daycare, and I'm sure a lot of people were having sex for fun until it turned into they had to make that commitment for a baby. So if I can reduce the amount of idiots that are actually producing babies and making sure that the only children that are going to be brought into the world are brought in under parents who actually have uh, stable income and actually have jobs and aren't necessarily 15 or 16, then by all means, let's reduce that uh, the amount of people that are uh, spitting out babies for fun. So. Okay, sorry but no, sex is not just for fun. There are various effect, positive effects of sex. First off, one of it is that it releases a massive amount of um, oxy oxytocin, or what we commonly know as love. Yes, sex releases love, kind of why the friends benefits it doesn't really work. But the thing about oxycontin is that it has various positive effects. It makes you happy. Sex releases endorphins as well. Happiness. It makes our people happy. It's not just fun. It reduces stress. It improves cardiovascular health. It releases immunoglobul um, immunoglobulins into your system. In other words, it makes you healthier. It makes you less likely to get sick. So no, sex is not just for fun or pumping out babies. Like, are you saying like our grandparents can't have sex? So, oh yeah, grandma can't pump out any babies, but they can't have any fun. That's not the case. Sex isn't, it was never, is never about just, you know, I want a baby. Sex is a, sh a display of affection. Sex is a great way to improve your health. Sex is a great way to not have heart attacks and strokes and blood clots. Yes, yes, everyone, you can have sex to improve your heart. So no, we shouldn't just say, no, sex, you know, you don't just have it for fun. You gotta have, pump out a baby every time you have sex. That's not the case. Not everyone wants a baby every time they show some affection. Young. But again, guys, right if I start hitting this gavel, you need to start uh, being quiet. So we're going to have Avi go ahead and spin. Oh. Uh, Alright, I'm Avi, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And uh, one thing I want to bring up in JSA, like, obviously this topic's kind of like really unconstitutional. I want to refrain from anyone bringing that up. Uh, so for me, sex is more than just an outlet or, you know, a good way to release endorphins and have cardiovascular health. Sex is my life, because I have moonshine and porn stuff. And so me, like, it's just like every day, school, homework, go, sex. Uh, 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 like, for days, right? And that's how I, like, get money for, you know, to feed my family. Like, I contribute to the economic well-being of my family. You know, I just gotta go in just like, uh, 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 like my shit's everywhere, and you know, I gotta make sure that I'm clean and whatnot, like obviously I gotta go and get checked up like every week. And for those of you, and that's not only just me, there are so many people in this country that rely on their bodies and sex to feed themselves and their families. I mean, I don't know if those of you guys who don't know, combined, the NFL, NBA, and MLB, I think gross about $130 billion a year, 
While the industry of porn grosses about 300 billion. So not only this is like, if we were to monitor sex only for procreation, like, that means I couldn't have sex for my job, and at the same time, no one would need to get anybody else, and we'd lose a $300 billion industry in this country. And internationally as well, you think Germany produces a lot of porn, like, I had to deal with someone that really long ago. Anyway, so you see, like, this has really negative repercussions, not only on me, and on everybody, and you know, our economy, we're already facing tough economic times, how are we going to balance out a $300 billion loss? That's something <laughs> I'm Chad, in case you guys don't know that. Um, Avi, you say that if we start monitoring sex, then the porn industry will like go downhill, but I don't think so. I think everyone has potential to be their own porn star. And let me explain a little bit here, okay? Now, if we're, if, we're monitoring, if we're monitoring sex, this probably involves like cameras of some sort. Same thing in pornography, right? They have cameras on set. So, I mean, what do you think of one word here? One word. Money. We have a deficit in this country. Why don't people opt into this program? They get monitored by the government, eh, whatever, but then they get rewarded for putting their, like, all that effort into making a great video, you know what I mean? I mean, the industry will explode after that. We solve our debt crisis, money goes to government, you know, education is not a problem anymore. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg here. We have so much potential to explore. It wouldn't go down, I believe, it wouldn't go down and choose because of Rule 34 of the internet that if it exists, there's porn of it. So therefore, I don't think that porn sales would go down at all. And it'd be better. You know what I mean? No. Um, oh. I believe that it's not going to go down and that the porn industry won't go down even if there is um, restrictions on it. Because of Rule 34 of the internet, that if there, if it exists, there's porn of it. So just put it out there. <laughs> All right. So a lot of people were talking about the porn industry. Joseph over there just mentioned Rule 34 of the internet, and it's true. The internet's a scary place if you know where to look. There was okay. actually a website. But I saw on 4chan called dinosaursfuckingrobots.com, and it's exactly, it's exactly it's exactly what you think it is. It's, so there is a whole other industry out there that could flourish because of this. And I mean, like uh, Avi said, that's it's his job apparently. Sex. To some people, it's an art form. If I knew people were gonna be watching my bedroom and what happened in there, I'd probably clean it more and make sure it looked nice for whoever's on the other side of the camera. But then the more spiteful side of me would just start doing the weirdest things possible, like in that atmosphere. Like I would just exactly. I would just make sure that this person hates his job when he's watching me and my love life. This oh god, why is he bringing home car batteries today? What's he doing? What's he thinking? What's he gonna do tonight? So maybe this would just be a way for people like me or Avi to just bring more human suffering into the world. <laughs> you know, Avi made a good point. If we lose the porn industry in America, then it's gonna be left in like Japan. Okay? We all know what Japan does with everything, alright? It's kind of So, yeah, <laughs> we need to keep the porn industry in America alive. Yeah. Um, I want to remind everyone that this debate is not about the sanctity of porn. At this <laughs> like, uh, that'd probably make a great debate topic further down the line, but again, we got to bring it back to the government is literally monitoring sex to make sure people are only using it to have babies. So, let's keep that in mind as we move forward. Uh, yeah, you in the back. Do you remember the kids in the Here's the thing about sex. Sex sells. So, if you um, take away sex just for procreation, what happens is we all lose like that if it happened over a course of years, guys will naturally start to lose like the natural feelings they get unless they're procreating if we're forced not to let our natural selves go. So you would lose a lot of industry, you'd lose a lot of um, numerous stuff. Yeah, there's porn, but also just commercials in general. You watch a football game, how many commercials are there with like some chick in a 
scanty like bikini drinking a beer or something. There's tons of those commercials. Tons of Victoria's Secret commercials. The whole point is to be sexy. Sex sells. So if you take that away, take those feelings away, that all goes away. We lose money in the end. So that's just the take on it. What? Okay, fine. Okay. I have, I think, I don't know, I'll try and hit everyone. Okay, so Beyond, you said that Oxycontin is released out of the brain and that's what makes up. I'm pretty sure that if I have sex with any woman in this room, I'm not going to immediately fall in love. If I do and I probably have sex with another girl, then I'm probably going to fall in love with that girl and then the next girl and then the next girl. Which is exactly why we shouldn't have everybody having sex with every single other girl. Because they all think they're in love. Avi, I know you talked about porn, Shani talked about porn, and Derek, you were talking about the sex industry as a whole being sexy and things like that. My ability to not get a boner would not impact who I think is hot and who is not. Just because I can't get it up doesn't mean I don't think that she's cute or sexy, okay? That's another thing about the porn industry. If you knock out the porn industry, you know what's going to happen? People are going to be forced to go outside. Porn costs money, but can you find free porn? Yes, you can find free porn on almost any internet website that you can get onto. Some of them cost memberships, but on every single one that costs membership, I can guarantee you that every single guy that's visited a porn site in this room has never paid for it, okay? So, you're not really going to lose that much money. <laughs> Okay, Biagi, go. Nah, nah, nah. God, you are so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I said Oxycontin produces what we feel as love. It doesn't mean that every time you get a bit of Oxycontin, you fall in love, okay? It's just like, that's just the weirdest thing I've ever heard. It's like, every time you smoke weed, you're just gonna lose like, you're gonna lose five IQ points. That's not the point, you know? Oxycontin does not make you love. I mean, it makes you love, but you know, you're not releasing enough of it every time you have sex. Now, you keep having sex with the same girl like every time, like three times a day for like three weeks, you'll probably, you know, start having feelings for her. But you know, your one night stand, not a big deal. Just a bit of Oxycontin. But I think that everyone in this room is forgetting a single sexual partner that the government cannot monitor. Mr. Hat. <laughs> no, 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 no. And for the record, yes, ladies, Mr. Hat works for you too. <laughs> now, here is the benefits of Mr. Hat. You're all grown ups. Come on, let's just accept true facts. Avi! Your job would not suffer because the whole world can watch you having sex with Mr. Hat. And I'm sure, you know, yes. And there is a thriving industry on that, I've been told. I don't want to go there, though. <laughs> For those of you who are worried about your cardiovascular health, who want to lose a couple, you know, 100 calories every day or something, Mr. Hat can help you. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Oh my god, the government regulates sex. How terrible. No, because you still have your best sexual partner, the one who will never leave you. <laughs>